As a clinical psychologist, it's been my privilege to work with clients and their spouses and families, individuals who struggle with executive function problems. Difficulty inhibiting, planning, choosing, sequencing. Difficulty identifying what matters most to them and then organizing their time and energy around those goals. And it's occurred to me that in fact that's the central challenge for all of us. Identifying what matters most in this universe of possibilities and then organizing our commitments and obligations and energies around those goals. I'm thinking of a client I worked with a few years ago. Someone who persistently experienced anxiety and struggled with that. I asked her what anxiety felt like for her. Interestingly, she didn't say shortness of breath or chest pain. She said anxiety for her was just wanting the moment to pass, just wanting to be out of this experience. When you consider that all you have is moments, you see that anxiety disorder was taking her life away from her one moment at a time. And I asked, what was the opposite of anxiety? She said for her, the opposite of anxiety was a memory. Her first date with a gentleman who became her husband. She remembers that on that first date, they didn't have a lot of money, so they spent time on the town common, they bought a hot dog, and as the sun began to set, she realized that soon the date would be over. She didn't want it to end. She wanted to savor every last moment. That, for her, was the opposite of anxiety. That's what I want for her. That's what I want for me. That's what I want for you, is that every moment is savory. Just the image of someone licking their fingers after eating something delicious. Each moment is something that I want. And I'm convinced that we can live our lives like that if we're crystal clear about what really matters most to us. By listening to our body, understanding what motivates us, enthuses us, jazzes us, and then beginning to organize relentlessly our activities and commitments and obligations around that self-knowledge.